welcome to my channel IT smart training today we are going to start uh, IAM hands-on lab in my previous video I just told you uh, the IA, what is IAM and why do we use IAM and the IAM working procedure so if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel to get more up to date don't forget to press the bell icon so let's start our today's lab so we have to create an IAM account so we have to go AWS console so in my previous video I told you that uh, AWS account uh, you do, uh, uh, root account is not recommended to login in AWS but by default we are creating a AWS account a AWS root account with our email address that account is uh, not recommended to uh, start or recommended to login with the AWS um, recommended is you have to install or you have to install your services or everything with an IAM account not AWS root account so if your administrative IAM account is lost or anyhow, anyhow your IAM account admin IAM account is locked then you can uh, log in with uh, uh, your root account to reset that user so otherwise no need to log in your root account so now I just want to show you how to create an IAM user so here you can search IAM just select IAM to log to open the IAM features otherwise you can go to the service in a security portion there you can see the IAM just click on it see this is your uh, IAM dashboard so here you can see that uh, uh, your users is zero user groups is zero role by default these two roles are created these are the default rules so now I just want to uh, create an user if you want to create user just go to users here you can uh, add user otherwise you can click here also the same window will open so now just add user so here I am uh, create a user named admin so you can see yeah there are two types of AWS access key and uh, authorized password provided the below steps there are two step access type are there one is an one is called programmatic access another is called AWS management console access so if you are uh, accessing your services like EC2, S3, this kind of services so you have to act, have to have this AWS uh, management access console access this is for services only and if you are uh, uh, working like API or something code so you have to uh, get the permission of the programmatic access otherwise you cannot run your code into the AWS so in my admin account I just uh, uh, select both uh, programmatic access as well as the AWS management console access also so here next is uh, you have to set your password console password if you are select auto generated password the AWS service will automatically generate your password so in here I just click my custom password okay next required reset password if you are uh, select this option so next when you are logged in you have a prompt to reset your password so in here I just uh, uncheck this option and next I just go to the permissions in a permissions tab we have no group is already created so uh, we don't have any group over here so next I just go to the policy P 
policy is nothing but a permissions so it admin account which permissions do you want to provide we have to select that so I just select first option administrator access so this is an admin account so that's why I am select this permissions so there are uh, several uh, kind of permissions predefined permission is uh, given there you have to select accordingly so and I also described it accordingly so then next tags so here you have to uh, so here you can uh, add uh, tags this is an optional so I am tags are the key value or pairs you can add your user tags can include user information such as like your email address or you can uh, descriptive type of tags such as uh, job title departmental uh, name anything this is for uh, to organize or track your control of that user so I just uh, go to the next I just I don't want to add any tag right now I just go to next here you can review what you have set previously so next I just create user after that after create your user this user account is created successfully is showing over here so now I just download my uh, access key ID and the secret key this access key is generated by system and this secret key also and this secret key is generated only single time first time if you don't uh, copy or if you don't store it then you have lost your user informations so definitely you just store your access key ID and secret access key also as well uh, if you if you uh, if you are deploying some kind of code uh, like suppose you are deploying s3 uh, bucket a website in your s3 bucket or something uploading in your s3 bucket and you have to uh, uh, programming uh, with a code that is all files will be stored that s3 bucket so in that situation you have to provide your access key and the secret key access to access that uh, uh, S3 bucket to upload that file so this is very important uh, thing so you can send mail also as well for the security reason I don't show you the uh, secret access key for now and I just close this window so now I just click on user or just refresh the page you can see that the admin user account can uh, admin ac user account is uh, uh, showing over here so now I just logged in logged out this one this root account because I am logging with root account so sign in again over here here is an IAM user here you can set your uh, in informations or uh, account ID and you can logged in I forget one more thing to show you that's why I am logged in again I just go IAM here is the IAM console uh, URL so you can customize your uh, URL accordingly here I just type uh, IT smart training hyphen demo create alias you just check you can you can see that the uh, IAM URL is uh, changed so just I copy this uh, URL and paste it over here
you can see that I am username is showing over here I just logged out this okay it is signed out so I am logged in over admin with admin account so here is my admin account is logged in and you can access everything in your AWS service with this account so for now we don't need to any uh, root account login here so root account for my security purpose if my this admin account is locked or got some problem so so for now it is clear to you next what I do now I just go to the IAM okay this is a user user is done user portion is done now I just create a group already told group is uh, uh, is an object in AWS which is store multiple users so now I just create a group I just uh, type a group name is uh, IT information technology next in this group I uh, provide a permissions like uh, uh, I just provide a permission like S3 access so I have to find that permission AWS S3 I cannot see that I just search over here S3 here is the service Amazon S3 full access just next create group so I created this group okay so this group which users are uh, members in this group that users can access only the S3 bucket other service will not be accessed by that user so now I just uh, show you how to create uh, how to add a user so I just create another user for here I just click add user username is like test user here I just provide AWS management access only I just provide a custom password next here I can select this group to member okay I just leave this here because I show you another options to I just create user user creation is successfully created you can see that there is no secret key is uh, showing over here because secret key is only who are the programmatic uh, if I select the programmatic options so then then only the secret key will uh, pop, uh, show here so I just close it so my test account is already created so now I just go to groups here I just want to add that user just go to group actions add users to a group here you can see test just add user so here is also a, this is an options and that is how you can uh, add uh, users over here so users one user is added over here you can see that test is added so now I just go again back to the dashboard I just copy this link now I just uh, I just open it to the incognito mode I just open this console IAM console
here provide the username password the service will log me in okay got it got it so in this account I can only access the S3 if you are if I am select over here you can see that S3 option is opened S3 bucket I can access over here so here I can I can create bucket delete bucket everything so I just go to if I want to select EC2 with this test account here you can see that we don't have any permissions here is showing error if I go to the previous look of EC2 no cancel here you can see that you are not authorized to describe the running instances over here because I don't have permissions to access the EC2 is it clear so because I am uh, provide uh, I am creating a user and uh, add it to the IT group in IT group I provide a permission which is S3 access so S3 uh, that test user can only access the S3 bucket as well uh, can it cannot access the other service like EC2 or other and next I just go to the admin account I just go to the user once again I just go to the test user here you can see that S3 full access permission is given there I just remove this policy now I just go to the uh, test user and trying to access S3 so see you cannot access the S3 because I don't have the permissions to S3 bucket so this is how you can uh, include permissions to a user or a revoke permissions to a user so next I just go to my admin portal and go to dashboard next I come back to the roles roles are similar to user and it is assigned to an application not an user or a group roles cannot assign any user or a group it is assigned an application suppose you are using an applications like uh, EC2 uh, server inside the EC2 server there is some coding is there or your application is inside that server and the application is written over there that that instance EC2 instance can access uh, S3 bucket so you can uh, give a permissions uh, to that EC2 instance after that your EC2 instance can access the S3 bucket so I just show you how so next I just create a role over here here so many options are there so I just select EC2 here is uh, uh, select an AWS service and then uh, select EC2 next now I'm going to show you the roles roles is just uh, roles doesn't apply uh, with an user or an, a group uh, 
because uh, roles is apply roles is just like uh, uh, like a user it is only apply or only applicable into the application so if I want to clear create roles we have to select on roles so here it is written IAM roles are the secure way to grant permissions to the entities that uh, you trust so that entities must be an application not an user or a group so now I just create role just click on create role to cr create the role just I, ju I want to create a AWS service uh, with the EC2 instance I, I want to apply that role next provide the permission in a permission tab I have to select S3 because that instance can access the S3 bucket S3 full access next I just next role name I just provide demo role S3 here S3 full access just create the role here you can see that the demo role S3 is created so now how to apply the S3 role into the EC2 instance so I just go to the EC2 where my uh, instance is running over there if it is stopped we have to run the instance one instance is running over there here is my instance I just select the instance here is an action of menu go to security here modify IAM roles here you can create an IAM, IAM role over here or I just select my demo role over here and save done so if I doing any kind of code that uh, need to access the S3 so after this task after this roles appliance that applications can access the S3 so this is all about the roles hope it is uh, understand all you understand if any problem uh, to understand please comment me I will explain you or give you some link to get more study next policies I just go to my dashboard now I show you how to create policies we have two options to create policy one is uh, I just go to the policies here I want to if I want just create policies this is the one option another is we can create policies over here I just go to users select users add inline policy the same window will open so these two options we have so I just cancel it over here I just go to the policies over here and just type create policy so here this is a visual editor so you have to select uh, your service I just select EC2 I just select EC2 after selecting EC2 I have to select which services or which actions uh, we can add so here I select all after selecting all you can see that some 33 warning messages there so you have some there are some policies that are not matched in here so we also write this JSON 
uh, script for that policy so there is a way to create a JSON policy very easily that is I ju you just go to Google type AWS policy generator tool here you can see the AWS policy generator Amazon S3 this is the policy generator tool here you just type IAM policy because this is the IAM policy you want to uh, create it type is allow here you have to select Amazon EC2 I just select Amazon EC2 because I want to provide the permission is Amazon EC2 all service and the ARN is provided by asterisk marks that means any I just add statement the statement is added generate so this is the script JSON script I just copy this script go over here and paste it so this is my script I just allow uh, EC2 just review policy close it here I just provide the policy name uh, demo EC2 policy so here these are the, the resources which we have an access this these all have will have a full access just create policy so if i find here I can see my demo policy is created so now I just add this policy into the test account so I just go to the test account test user and I have currently I have a test user have permission that is I don't have a permission to access the S3 bucket I don't have permission as well as I don't have permission to access the EC2 as well this is my test user account I just click on the EC2 so I don't have permissions to access okay so right now I can add permission over here I can attach an existing policy directly demo policy I can add over here I just add it or we can also assign it into the group also I just add permission permission is added over here so now I just go to the test pol test policy tab just refresh you can see I ha I can get access to manage the EC2 instances So next uh, up to this I think uh, the concept is clear to all of you
now I uh, I configured another policy which uh, which is uh, this policy is configured the allow EC2 so now I'm configured another policy which is permission is deny so I am policy deny EC2 instance all actions I just provide start I just delete this one allow I just generate policy so I just copied it and I just uh, create inline policy select control V review it's okay create policy oh I have to provide the name demo deny EC2 create policy so now I have two policy over here one is an allow another one is deny so now I have we have to see that uh, which policy is applicable over here so now I just go to my test user so I just refresh once again you can see that we don't have any access to EC2 here is in Amazon the list permission is taken so my list permission is deny permission which is configured over here so that's why it is taken deny so if two policy is conflict then always uh, affect the list policy so this is up to the policies now I just want to show you a, a very basic thing that is MFA multi-factor authentications in lockdown days uh, we all are working uh, from home so how we access our company networks so we have some RSA token to get access to the VPN so here in uh, IAWS there is configured multi-factor authentication in the same way or the same manner so how I just go to the user here is a security credentials I just go to the manage in the manage there are three options are there first is a virtual MF MFA device second one is U2F security device and other MFA device so I am configuring the virtual MFA device because we don't have these two just continue so here is showing a QR code you can see a QR code is shown here so I have to select I have to use uh, Google Authenticator to activate this MFA authentications so now I am connecting uh, my mobile into my system to configure the MFA authentication I'm connecting just a moment guys my redmi note 3 is connected So you can see that my mobile is connected in left side you can see uh, I just 
just do one thing I just customize the window to get more understand so this is my QR code so this is my mobile in left hand side I'm opening my mobile so this is my Google Authenticator just get started scan QR code allow I'm scanning the QR code so in brightness I just manage the brightness so in my left in my mobile phone there is showing a ID which is not uh, showing in left hand side so I have to put that ID over here I just do it once again to just close all the app Google Authenticator generating a new code so the code is 140282 this uh, code is showing into my mobile this is a secret code that's why this is not showing in over here remote and next every code have 30 second timer so after first code timing expired I have to select next code that is 847527 assign MFA you can see that MFA is successfully assigned you can see that MFA is assigned so I close everything you can see I think the code um, now I just go to my uh, another user test user account I just logged out the test user sign out to sign into the console so I am user is test I just provide the password sign in here I have to provide the MFA code I just toggle Google Authenticator the code is 417999 and I just submit it you can see the AWS account is logged in with MFA so this is the MFA multi-factor authentications this is for the security reason and the very tough security is implementing over there uh, up to this I am this is all about if my video is informative please like the video and subscribe my channel don't forget to press the bell icon to get more up to date thank you thank you guys see you on next video